Afternoon folks. Hey, this is Chad with Firefighter Roofing. Uh, this week's topic I want to talk to you about is roof leaks. Uh, primarily fireplace roof leaks. Uh, majority of the time that's where we notice the roof starts to leak. It's the first place you're going to notice it leaking. Uh, first and foremost, uh, we know that you don't do this enough to trust somebody that you don't know. Um, so, you know, that's kind of what we pride ourselves on. Uh, we're all fire, police, or military. I mean, uh, we have impeccable background checks. Um, so we are someone that you can look towards and tell you, you know, it's going to tell you the truth. Uh, this particular roof I'm on today that we're doing, um, after tearing the roof off, we saw that he had rotten wood decking around his chimney. Um, it hadn't quite started leaking into the house yet, but it was very soon to come. Um, so. One, one good way you can check the roof and see if it's actually done ro properly is to see if it has a chimney cricket, okay? And I'm gonna show you what this is. Uh, the cricket actually diverts the water to go around the trim chimney instead of standing up behind the chimney and settling in and getting in any single crack, any, any part of the, the bed, mortar, uh, anywhere where the flashing wasn't done properly. Um, it's the worst place water can get in your house and it's the first place. Uh, so I just want to show you here what I'm talking about. Um, this is the cricket right here uh, built up behind the fireplace to divert the water to go left and go right around the fireplace. And this is how flashing is supposed to be done correctly when you do this, okay? There's nowhere water can possibly get in or around this fireplace from here on out. Um, customer had no idea um, that this was even happening so you know we're gonna always do the roof right and do it correctly so this is how it's done the right way so you can go out and check behind your behind your chimney now and see if you have one of these crickets and this will all be shingled up when we're done and uh, hopefully you do if you don't um, be sure you get one next time you have your roof done uh, just to avoid any future problems uh, any, any, any interior damage you may receive in the, in the future. So, anyway, uh, also, you'll notice that we do ice and water shield in all the valleys. No more valley metal. Metal's bad. Uh, metal, we, run a, we put a nail through metal, it just creates a puncture wound. Uh, there's no way to put caulk around each one of those nails. So, we use a three foot wide piece of ice and water shield in every valley and around every penetration. Uh, here's a better look at it right here. Um, they basically started that up north where you have a lot of ice and snow that gets dammed up in the valleys and sits behind fireplaces and in places like that. So anyway, uh, that's your weekly update. I'm Chad with Firefighter Roofing. Just give us a shout if you ever need anything uh, to deal with storm-related damage. We'd be glad to help you out. Thank you.